Leonardo AI's Alchemy has just had a big update with Alchemy version 2.0. The way you access it is if you're creating your prompts and you have Alchemy turned on, you head over to your fine tune model and you have these three new Alchemy version 2 models that you can experiment with. So today we're gonna to go into some of the old images we created and we're gonna compare them from the original Alchemy model to some of these new Alchemy models to see what the difference is. And Leonardo Diffusion XL described as the next phase of core Leonardo model. So it's basically their core model updated to match SDXL 0.9 is very versatile model. You can see you get a lot of different types of images here, a few photorealistic ones, but also overall it's a very flexible and versatile model to play with. When you move on to Vision XL, it's more about realism and photography. And if you scroll down, even though you get some images which aren't photorealism, there's some truly stunning images in here that look like legitimate photos. So you can see how you, each of these models has its own strengths and weaknesses that are worth having a look at. The Albedo base is more of a CG and artistic output. So even though once again, we've got some more 2D designs here, there's a lot of CG looking designs here with that 3D animated look or that animation look. If you scroll through, you can see some pretty cool images in here that are a little bit more sort of fantastical and a little less war photography and real world based. So a very cool model to experiment. But let's take a look at what we can make happen with these models. Now, last time I covered Alchemy when it was first released, we started off comparing this image here, which is a non-Alchemy created image to another image of the same prompt, which was this image right here. It was made with Alchemy and using the general presets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remix this image we're going to use all the same settings and even keep the same seed. But one difference is since things have been updated, for one, there's Prompt Magic version 3, but we're also going to switch to Leonardo Diffusion XL and then create one in Vision XL and in Albedo Base XL. So I've chosen that. I'm going to hit Generate. And we're also going to generate with these other two models. Now check out these results. If we start down the bottom, which is the Leonardo Diffusion XL, we get some really stunning imagery. This looks like a photo. It looks absolutely incredible. We go over to the one next to it. Another stunning looking image, even the way that it's created, say the nose, the nose is a bit thicker than what you'd normally see. It looks like this actually has a bit of character and personality to it and has a really unique style. I zoom right in, it's just incredible. It looks just like a photo. We go up to Leonardo Vision XL and the crispness. It looks like you're really up close to their face. It's really, they're really stepping it up with Leonardo AI and now these images are just incredible. This one also, if you look into the pupils of the eyes, you can see just the detail it puts into the energy of the glow, but even just the refined little hairs of the eyebrow. They've really done a great job at stepping up Alchemy and their entire image module, image pipeline, I should say, to create something that's next level. Moving up to Albedo Base XL, and this one, a little less lifelike, but it still looks like a real object, just a little more like a, like a wax sculpture, but still amazing. Like just the detail in the hair, the cleanliness of the image, the pores of the skin, it just looks absolutely incredible. And the second image, a little bit more of a glow on the hood. It looks, this one's a little bit more striking, but overall, again, just an incredible image that looks like completely next level. And it, the other images were also next level to before Alchemy was in there. So they keep on stepping this up every time. And I'm really excited to see what else they come up with. But let's move on and check out some other images to see what results we get. The next one we're gonna look at is this 1950s hot rod parked inside a diner. Now I did this one without, without Alchemy uh, in the last video, and then with Alchemy, we got something that looks like a legitimate photo and was really a step up. And I really think that uh, this one worked out really well. But using those same settings, now I've kept the same seed and this is Leonardo Vision XL. And again, it looks even more like a photo. It even has removed the number plate, which was actually uh, not really an issue, but it's just removed some of the confusion of lettering on there. There's a little bit in the background, but Overall, this looks absolutely incredible. This image also, it actually does have the number plate. It's got the same color. But again, I would say it's probably a little bit neater than the other, but not a huge step up. Being that it's a car, there's probably not a lot to actually improve upon compared to a human face, which we're better at picking the bits. This one was with it. Diffusion XL, again, looking pretty nip, pretty good, pretty sharp. And the other with Diffusion XL. And it looks pretty, it looks pretty sharp again. Another great step up in image quality. Moving up to Albedo Base, we got this one, which again, another step up, looking pretty good. And this one again with the back of the car, still another great image. Uh, overall, the tiles are a little bit funky here. Not a huge difference with this particular subject matter, but still looking really incredible. 
And this time I have an image of Scorpion, which I used in a remix video recently. I actually remixed someone else's prompt for this. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here I normally wouldn't use, but uh, it's a stunning image. So let's see what results we get when we actually do that with Alchemy 2.0. Leonardo Diffusion XL has actually changed the look quite dramatically. However, still a great image, looks a bit more like a painting. And this is again, the same model. Moving on to Vision XL, and we've got a bit of a combination between photorealism here, a bit of a drawn outline and the face looks real. It's kind of like a blend of art styles in this particular image. Vision XL again, this one looks like a 3D render. I think this one actually looks really cool. Again, a drastic change in style, but still a lot of fun. Albedo Base XL has created this image which again is kind of like a mixture between say photoreal and 3D, more of a 3D render style. And this one here, a little more artistic, but with more photorealistic shading. Uh, a different style altogether, but still pretty interesting. But why don't we try something else? This is another remix I did of Darth Vader as a EQOA painting. So why don't we remix that with the same seed to see what results we can get with the new alchemy. Leonardo Diffusion has produced this, which still has the same style, but it's added a bit more shading and removed that flatness to it. So it's kind of like a hybrid between a different art style with Ukiyo-e. This second one with the same model is a little bit closer to that style. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of a different twist on the style and overall still a pretty cool image. Vision XL, however, a lot more traditional styling, even down to the color of the paper. I really like the direction it's gone with this. Instead of trying to enhance it and make it look like it's more realistic or something like that, it's actually gone more traditional. So it's always a good idea to experiment with different models to see what direction it goes in. Here's the other image. Again, looking more traditional, that brown paper color. I really like what it's done with this image this time around with this particular model. Albedo Base XL has made this a little bit more of a dynamic layout, similar style, but it's kind of, kind of like it's stepping outside of that. Like the, it's still got some elements there, but then there's a room around it uh, with an actual sword in one hand and that's sort of like a red scabbard in the other. So yeah, pretty cool. And another, the other Albedo Base XL, another cool pose. Similar styling, but again, a bit more detail, a little bit more dynamic in this look. Not quite true to the styling, but still a really cool upgrade in the overall look of the image. So it's cool. It does enhance images quite well, but in some instances, you may be better off not using these if you're looking for a very particular style. Now this image here of a samurai warrior anime style in front of Mount Fuji, this was done with straight Leonardo, no alchemy, uh, but still got quite a good result using the absolute reality setting. So let's see how we go if we skip over Alchemy. Let's remix this image and see what results we can get upgrading to Alchemy version 2.0. And again, we'll copy that seed. Diffusion XL has created something very different. This is more of a painting or an artistic style. Same with the other, we've got that same seed, but uh, just more of a, of a painting with uh, some of the detail, not 100% there, but overall still a cool image. Vision XL, looking more like traditional artwork. I do really like this. The thing to remember is I did put anime style in that prompt. So it is actually probably adhering to that a little bit more, but still leaning more towards that Yuki-OA style, which I think is really cool. And again, with this one here, a bit more of an anime style drawing, but still has a yuki a sort of feel to it. Albedo base has the best faces here, a real stern look and stare on this particular warrior. I love the stitching on the sword, the way it's added that detail in there, looking like a piece of art. Going to the second image, similar layout, uh, still very cool. A little bit missing from the face. However, we haven't actually upscaled any of these. So if I take this image, we'll run it and a few of the others through the Alchemy Refiner to see what results we get when we upscale. Coming back to this first image, I have refined all one from each of these areas. So I've got the original, the Refiner, and it looks like a whole different image. And I did put this on high to refine the max out of it. I thought that would be a pretty cool effect and it's turned out really good. Now again, our original image with, before we've refined it, we add the Alchemy Refiner, which is set to high and a lot more lines and detail. And if I look at the armor here, we switch back. The armor has also been refined a fair bit. This is a refined version, a little bit more artistic, a little bit more detailed. Here is our original image again for the last one, the Albedo XL. And you can see how we're missing a bit of detail around the face and it looks a little bit smooth. Switch to the refiner and you get a much smoother look, something very cool. And we are gonna do a video comparing the refiner as well. So keep an eye out for that. That should be coming out pretty soon. 
Now, there is something else I want to touch on before we wrap up, and that is something else I wanted to try upgrading. But I go into my personal feed and I open up this image. Now, this is a pretty, pretty good looking image already. And I wanted to try this with the new Alchemy. However, it is made with Photoreal. So when I go to Remix, you notice I can't change the model because as long as Photoreal is turned on, that model is under con the control of the Photoreal model. So at the same time, we can't actually move Photoreal into these new XL models that are under Alchemy, but Photoreal is actually pretty impressive on its own and you don't really necessarily need it. So I hope that's given you some insight on how the Alchemy version 2 works. Remember, they are just different models as well. Even though they are a step up in many ways, sometimes they might be a step sideways depending on what you're after. So if anything, this is an expansion on Alchemy not necessarily a massive step forward, although it is a big step forward in a lot of ways. So you have more options now to create stunning images when working with Leonardo AI, especially if you have a premium plan. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.